Hey there, today's part two of the space shuttle build. Today we're going to be taking all these pieces I have laid out here and we're going to be building the full space shuttle. My name's Lincoln and this is 3D Makers. All right, I'm going to start moving some of this around while I get ready to actually put this together. But while I do that, let me tell you a little bit about all the models and maybe even show you a time lapse. All right, so all these models are printed at 1.5 millimeter layer heights. As I mentioned in the opening, this is uh, part two of this build series. You can check out part one. I'm going to point in both because I don't know which way to point yet. So it's going to be in one of these two, one of these two corners. Uh, that's where I build the boosters that go along with this rocket. Move those up there. All the black parts that you see are printed in zero black PLA. All the white parts are printed in... Who oh, what did I print them in? All the white parts are printed in Tyance's white PLA, and then the lonely silver part is printed. There it is. You can see it. There it is. It's printed in Hatchbox's silver PLA. Love this stuff. All right, so I'm going to start with what I think is going to be the easiest way to put this thing together. This is modeled. This is a remix of a model that's been sliced and diced so that it can be printed in multiple colors so you don't have to paint it. And you're stuck gluing surfaces like that together, which is going to be awesome. So let me grab my glue. I've got a couple of pieces of sandpaper. There's stuff up here. A couple hobby tools, glue and sandpaper. I got my glue over here. So I'm going to start with putting this together and putting the nose on this. Actually, I might put the nose on this first and then put this together and then we'll see what happens from there. Okay. So I'm actually, I am going to start by putting this nose on. Okay, I've got that in a happy place. I've got some super glue on my table and tools. So I am going to disappear for just a second and I'm going to grab a couple paper towels. Alright, I'm back. Let's, uh, let's, clean, let's clean my table off. Ooh, that was, that was fun, wasn't it? Yep, yep, I made, I made fun scrubby sounds while I was talking. Alright, so we'll just leave that there because it'll get used again. I'm almost positive of that. All right, so I'm going to continue on my possible small rant into madness as I work with these small parts and glue myself to this.
So that lines up nice. But I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of trimming to make these details fit inside of here. Because right now, It just doesn't fit. It's close. It wants to. Maybe I can, maybe I can pressure it. Can I will it in? Nope, there's no, there's no willing it in. And that part's coming loose, which actually might help me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my flush cutters because I think that'll make life faster. Okay. Got my flush cutters. And I am just going to start snipping off the bits that I think need to come off. All right, I'm gonna come back and finish this up tomorrow because for me it is getting late and I have to go to work tomorrow. All right, we're back for day two. So I'm just gonna get right back into where I left off. I'm gonna try to put these, these pieces back on here. I now have the ability to grip things again. So I'm gonna try to keep that as I progress today. But we'll find out how everything goes.
All right, so while I would love to continue, everything I've done here needs to just set and dry. Uh, and I'll come back either later, for me it's tonight, so later tonight or tomorrow, and continue, hopefully finish it up. But I'm assuming that after these two pieces here dry, I have to put these pieces on, and they'll probably have to sit there and dry for a little bit before I can put this piece onto this piece finishing it up. So there might be another one or two big cuts, but we'll uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, so it's been a few days since I've worked on this. Uh, I, I did, I went ahead and put on these two pieces here, because that was going to be something I was going to only be able to do so I just did that off camera because they had to sit there, they had to dry. So I went ahead and put those on. So what we're going to do today is we're going to put this piece on. I realized I forgot the door, which is this piece, and it goes in, goes in that hole there, right there on the door, or right there on the side, I should say. So we're going to put that piece in, we're going to put this piece on, and then we're going to put this piece. Actually, this piece is probably going to go on after this piece. So, we're going to go right back into the time lapse. All right, so this still has to dry, but I really like the way it looks. It was a massive pain to put together, but I really like the way it looks. I'd say, I'd say it's definitely worth it. Just be prepared if you're going to make this yourself. So there'll be a link to this model down in the description below. So if you like the video, feel free to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Sit there. Ah! I again have no grip. <laughs>